Schultz on the blue to Raska. Raska across. Shot in. Ross oh. comes off the ironwork. Levine beaten all ends up there on the glove side. Let's go back to the blue. Schultz across once again. Stone with bodies in the middle this time. Stone to clear. Bobbling put. Don't. Well played by the Steelers, keeping that alive. This seems all too easy for the Steelers keeping this puck in. Just props away the stomach. Setting up as a more of a passive box, keeping the Steelers to the outside, whereas the Steelers, when they're on the penalty kill, they're pressure, pressuring. Yeah, you know, although Sheffield's been keeping control, Manchester have been keeping on to the outside for most of it, even though they've not cleared it. Oh, that, that one was only a shade wide as well. As was that one, a bit of a shooting gallery out there. Who's and ours? It's like bonfire night in here at the moment. <laughs> Shot oh. in and deflected down. That's tipped there down. He but it was tipped. They're going to have a look at it again. The stick did seem high. Well, and there was uh, a few questions asked straight on. We'll get the replay a little bit quicker than the referees will get to see it but they'll have a look again yeah from my point of view the so stick looks high the, if it's above the crossbar you know, or not the best angle to tell from here but the big stick did seem high let's have a look mm. I, I think he hits it on the way down doesn't he yeah he knocks it down i think i think that's going to be given from that shot i also agree yes, I think <laughs> Oh, Alan wasn't happy with that face off there, he felt the puck dropped early. Uh -huh. It's the puck stuck in his skates and just manages to backhand it into the Steelers zone. Blind pass into the middle. Simmons trying to make something of it. Even when Storm did manage to intercept the puck, they can't make it stay. Uh, if they're quick here, the, uh, there's a line change for the Steelers. Barrow back to oh the look it's in well of course it's in it's that Barrow Orval line isn't it like you said Mark there's a bad change by the Steelers yeah you saw Pet Gray go and just the puck wasn't deep enough in the zone and the uh, the storm capitalised with the fiance yeah we'll have another look at that one now yeah, out in front the Steelers rushing to get back in place Barrow just gives it back to Kasparovo and he's on fire at the moment. Good finish. <laughs> Got some skill going backwards like that as well. <laughs> Had to check what I was drinking and it across to him and came to nothing in the end. A big face off for the captain of the Manchester Stone at take. And Steelers come away with it. Oh, just jerks him off with ease, goes for a little skate around, we mentioned before, being kept to the outside. Steelers taking the time, perhaps looking for any little tipping in front of Levine on that one there. Back to the blue line, opens up just in front, sees it, and once again the Steelers hit the metal work. Off the bar and in. That's what they were hoping. <laughs> it was off the bar and out, sorry. Seems to have an age to pick his spot as well. Nice block out in front, Levine's there, got oh. it. The referee's giving the it as a goal. It. Very messy one, but they all count. Looks like it'll be a second power play goal for the Steelers. They're not even going to review it, so they're happy. Those watching at home, no red lights coming on in the storm shelter anymore, so we we'll just have to watch the referee from this angle. Ah, that's a, he'll want that one back, that was a bit of a calamity. We've got this one, the GoPro, at a bit of an angle. Oh, it just sneaks underneath his glove there and in. Did you see you got the last swipe of that mark for the goal? Yeah, there was a there was a great bit of play earlier in that one. 
get confirmation of the goal scorers shortly. As Jones puts another puck up. Give it to Ciampini. It's all coming undone for the Storm at the moment. Just can't seem to stitch anything together at all. Here come the Steelers in waves. Levine can't hold on to anything. We've got to find some sort of consistency soon, otherwise it'll un <laughs> you know it'll get too far ahead of them, won't it? It'll yeah, there's there's definite pressure coming here from the Steelers. You just feel that like Manchester need to hold on because this could be uh, there could be more goals coming. So early in the second period as well, plenty of time to go. But you say Stone need like a foothold here. They need to go back the tie. The chance now for Oval. He just couldn't get it away. That's and the longest toe drag I've Jones ever seen. Down. <laughs> Just still overload the storm. Storm players not getting back. The Steelers are ahead in numbers. They still got possession. Simmons into the middle. Hands the outlet. Little bit of skill but going nowhere. Bricknell chance out in front for the storm. He finished. Finley Ulrich, the young Brit in Manchester Storm colours. With a good finish on the glove side there, Mark. Definitely. I was just about to say that Man some of the Manchester players look quite sluggish and then <laughs> absolute commentators curse. It was a great move down the left-hand yeah, side. Bricknell there with a bit of skill. I didn't think he had any kind of support, but he sees Ulrich stepping up there and Ulrich's got enough time to pick that top bag. That's a great finish. Stone back in it after five. That one stays in. Big shot deflection out in front was a brutal one for Levine. Petgrave there waiting for him, didn't get the pass though. He had the the trigger cocked. I was just about to say before that last pass, it's been really slick to change your pass in, but it's <laughs> yeah, still got control of it. Big shot in here. Wow. Well played by the Steelers there. Fine finish. Almost textbook, really. They had the, the guy on the far post as well for a, a tip in. I think it went straight in. We'll have a, another yeah, look at that. I think one. it was right in the uh, bottom left corner. It was a great strike. across yeah just above that pad and away from the blocker textbook finish is exactly where you do that oh and it's a lazy pass That's across up from pass. Carter to DeLuca Carter just getting enough of his body on that spinorama there by Scott Allen just to dispossess him it DeLuca's stick there snapped in half as well so when it's not going for you it's really not going for you is it Manchester Stone needs something to kick start this power play say five on three the guilty last weekend of not taking those chances and in this one they're not really troubling the Steelers at all arguably been more Action down at the opposite end. Steelers fans on the feet applauding their three man penalty kill, as they should, they're doing really well. There is DeLuca, and he scores, of course, he scores against his own team. He had an age to take that shot, Mark. I thought, you know. The calendar month was going to change by the time he took it. To take it, he did, and nestles it just on that glove side of Greenfield. Yeah, and unfortunately for the Steelers away fans, it was right in front of them as well. Yeah, just beats him on the glove side. Uh -huh. Just couldn't get that puck to sit nicely, but Stone clear the zone. 
That's about all they can do, though. Coming together there, we don't need any mistakes like that. Yeah. Uh, storm carve out from here. The pass isn't good enough for Cross to keep the fluid movement going. Hooked, bouncing around, he's in! It's that man again. Anthony De Luca with his second, and I guess the game tying goal. You see, it was messy, wasn't it, Mark? It was very messy, but it counted. It was, but he, he managed to find the puck and stab it open. The away fans look mortified. I was just going to comment on that, but we'll have a look at the this one again. It was bobbling around. It, see how messy that is, but when you're in there, you're in. And when you're hot, you're hot. So Luca gets the game sign goal. And Loose puck, picked up by the Storm. Simmons tries to push that forward and clear his zone at the same time. And just gifts possession to the Steelers. See them trying to do man marking, it's like if that goes flat, you end up with a big space out in front of you. Again, gifting, trying to be neat with the passing and it's just gifting possession away three on three. Storm fans trying to cheer their team on. And Larson on a different pace from his other two teammates there. Simmons dispossessed oh, out in front. Referee's watching. You can see he was there waiting for any kind of infringement. Simmons did well just to keep that down now. Steelers, Christo, his chance to make an impact. Bow to his blue line, Steelers cycling it around when Piche in front of it. Back post. Nice, nice back post stick out in front. Great pass in front there, Mark, for that goal. Yeah, there was some great cycling play below the net, and they, they ensured they kept control of the puck in the zone. And it was a really well set up goal. Yeah, they did really well to keep possession before that. You can't uh, downplay that much. But yeah, as he comes around here, puts it in that danger area, and just keeps his stick on the on the floor, pokes it past Levine. And Steelers take the two points in what was a very